Today we're at Knott's Berry Farm and I'm going to show you my absolute favorite place to eat, the Ghost Town Grill, right there, right here on Main Street across from the blacksmith shop. Now there are dozens of places to eat here at Knott's Berry Farm, including Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant, which made Knott's Berry Farm famous. As you know, Knott's started as a real berry farm, but to make ends meet, Cordelia started serving her famous fried chicken on her wedding china. The restaurant became so popular that Walter had to build Ghost Town to entertain the crowds, and this is what we have today, Knott's Berry Farm. But inside the park, my favorite place to eat there is the Ghost Town Grill. We're gonna head inside, show you the menu, show you some clips too of all the food we eat there. We've eaten here like once a week for the past 15, 20 years, I don't know. Sometimes more than once a week. We know the whole staff, all the servers, all the busters, the hosts. So let's head inside and grab some lunch here at the Ghost Town Grill at Knott's Berry Farm. The building that houses the Ghost Town Grill debuted on Main Street in 1941 and opened as the Buffalo Steakhouse. In September 1946, the restaurant was renamed the Ghost Town Grill with an expanded interior designed by Paul von Cleven. The faux chuck wagon fronting open kitchen and Paul von Cleven mural of a campfire scene are still there today. In 1946, the waitresses wore popular denim dresses designed by Marion Knott and were available for purchase at Marion and Tony's Dress Shop. The seating capacity was 50 guests, but with time that would expand as patio dining and multiple rear dining rooms were added. In 1953, the restaurant's corner entrance was sealed up and a new entrance was added, where it remains today. After a short time as the Burger Wagon in the 1960s and 70s, the Ghost Town Grill title returned with new outdoor dining on Main Street in the 1980s. Decades bring change and new menu items, yet the very recognizable 1941 corner building of the grill is still there after all these years and remains our favorite place to eat at Knott's Berry Farm. Each season, the Ghost Town Grill updates their menu. And for Boysenberry Festival, there's a bunch of new items. We have not been here in a few weeks because we've been eating all those Boysenberry treats. So check out the menu today and uh, try something new because we usually get the same thing when we come here. But I challenge us to try something new. <laughs> The Tuscan kale salad is new. I think that's what I'm gonna have today. Normally I do the Southwest, but I'm gonna try that. For the sandwiches, what's new? The baked mac and cheese. Oh, the chicken pot pie pasty, and Jen said she had that last week. Smoked pork belly, that has been on there. Crispy fish tacos may be new. The Impossible Burger, that looks the same. And the main courses change up a bit. The boysenberry barbecue rib tips are new. They always have a salmon, but it's something different. And they always have a grilled chicken, but that looks has a different topping as well. And the cocktails, kind of, those may be different. So let's try a few things here. Also new are the Southwest egg rolls. Looks like some sign of chipotle dipping sauce. Excited to try these. This is the Tuscan kale salad. It is a bed of baby kale with tomatoes, quinoa and wild rice, tomatoes, corn, almonds and goat cheese with a boysenberry lemon vinaigrette and this looks absolutely delicious <laughs> and healthy so you can have beignets after you can have a brownie a blondie whatever you want <laughs> Boysenberry mojito. <laughs> Jen got a turkey club sandwich. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this, it's a crab and shrimp hoagie with french fries. Nick got the Southwest salad substitute chicken tenders, which I usually get with buffalo sauce. 
Stopping here at the Ghost Town Grill, got my favorite, the Southwest salad with the Chipotle dressing on the side. We're getting our favorite Southwest salad oh, the Chipotle, with the Chipotle dressing. And then we asked for, it's not on the menu, but you can get some toast on the side. And this is one of the best looking salads we've had too. Look at this. It's grilled chicken, tortilla strips, cheese, onions, avocado, and the Chipotle dressing. And this is not on the dining plan as none of the menu items here at the grill are on the dining plan. But this is, mm, can't wait for this. Mm, we all opted to get the soup and it's potato. Jen, what do you say? Ooh. <laughs> we had our potato soup. Yes. And in addition to all the meals, Nick ordered a second soup. Because it was that good. And I feel business. bad sending Hazel back and forth that many times, but Nick wanted additional soup. And so Nick gets additional, <laughs> additional soup. soup. Here's a look at some of our past visits and some of the delicious food offered at the Ghost Town Grill. While the inside of the Ghost Town Grill has historic value and those iconic Paul von Cleven murals, our favorite place to sit is on the beautifully landscaped patio with the can't-miss view of Walter Knott's Ghost Town. It is a perfect spot to enjoy the fresh air, take in the ambiance, and people watch while having a delicious meal. As mentioned, the menu changes frequently, so items shown in this video may not be available on your visit. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up and comment with your favorite items at the Ghost Town Grill. A shrimp and crab hoagie. Ooh. Gold mine chocolate fudge cake. Whoa. Fried pickles. Ooh. A poison berry barbecue meatball hoagie. Shut up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, updates, and tips from Knott's Berry Farm and other Southern California theme parks.